Greater Manchester Police missed an opportunity during a search for a missing man in Withenshaw, which could have led to police finding the man sooner. The IOPC have released a statement in which they say Greater Manchester Police will learn from the failures in their response to future missing persons reports. 26-year-old John Winterton was reported missing on the 21st of August 2021. Following what was called a high-profile search, Mr Winterton was sadly found dead in Withenshaw Park four days later. The IOPC were contacted via a mandatory referral and spoke to those involved and reviewed body-worn camera footage. The IOPC said, We reviewed the steps taken by Greater Manchester Police to locate Mr Winterton and whether these were appropriate and in line with national and local policy, policies and guidance. Following the IOPC investigation, which concluded in July 2022, they say they had found an opportunity for Mr Winterton to have been found sooner by police. On the 19th of August, the day Mr Winterton went missing, police managed to obtain his mobile phone data, which, when analysed, showed Mr Winterton's last known location. the same location he was found deceased four days later. But apparently a delay in accessing specialist support meant this information was not available to investigating officers until the 25th of August. Now I don't quite know what specialist support would be needed when you have the information of a last known location for someone that you're looking for. You simply go there, whether you send one person or a hundred. I also don't see how a delay in specialist support would prevent the person who got the information from the mobile phone data from passing it on to the police or the investigating officer. I mean, the great thing about living in this decade is that we have access to phones, internet, emails, text, WhatsApp, Skype, and all sorts of other great methods of communication. So how did this not get to the police for four days in a situation where there is a higher profile search? Clearly wasn't that high profile. IOPC Regional Director Catherine Bates said I would like to offer my condolences to Mr Winterton's family and friends as well as all those affected by his death. Our investigation was independent of the police and found officers were in possession of data on day one of the investigation that, had they analysed sooner, may have led to Mr Winterton being found more quickly. Although the inquest found this was unlikely to have changed the tragic outcome, it may have lessened the considerable distress felt by his family during this difficult time, had the search been concluded sooner. The evidence did not indicate anyone serving with the police may have breached the standards of professional behaviour, but we did identify two areas of learning for Greater Manchester Police. Our recommendations were shared with the force to improve its response to missing persons investigations in the future. We also shared our findings with Mr Winterton's family and with the coroner to assist with the inquest. The IOPC said that they've recommended that officers and staff be reminded of the investigative opportunities provided by phone data, as well as the resources available for analysing the data. They also recommended that Greater Manchester Police update its policy for handling high-risk missing person investigations after the IOPC found that there were delays in consulting and appointing a police search advisor in Mr Winterton's case. Again, the police organisation is some 200 years old. They would have executed hundreds of thousands of missing persons investigations in that time. And since mobile phones have been a thing, probably hundreds of thousands more. How can this still be an issue in the 2020s? Simply doesn't make sense. Unless someone somewhere was simply not asked. My thoughts are, of course, with Mr Winterton's family and friends following the inquest that concluded on Tuesday the 30th of May.